Hello, my name is Weedy Bramer. I'm a djembe fola, percussionist. Uh, my goal is to take this instrument that I call djembe, or that they call djembe, to a whole different level. So I started playing djembe in 1988. And from that day, I always wanted to take that instrument, and I looked at it as a, my passport to the world. I come from a family of musicians, both sides. My mother being from St. Louis, and my father, Ghanaian, being a Ghanaian drum. So I grew up playing high life music, Afrobeat, and my father had a big Afrobeat man. And in that band, my mom was the drummer. She learned from my grandfather. He was a great drummer from New Orleans, which is the city I'm in right now. His name was Weedy Mars. Weedy played with everybody. So I'm happy to be from this rich, rich culture, this rich family of music and drumming on both sides. Goal for the instrument is not just to do the regular folklore thing. And I grew up in folklore. Folklore is my first passion and my first art. The djembe drum comes from an ethnic group in West Africa called the Mandang. So what happens is that the Mandang people have different rhythms that are whole sacred. And then this is the creation of the drum itself that the Numu or the blacksmiths were the ones to create this instrument. And the old story is that the women were pounding what they call uh, pounding millet and mortar and pestle. And the woman broke a hole through the mortar. And from that became the original djembe. You know, the djembe is probably one of the most international instruments on the planet. I've seen djembe's in Australia, I've seen djembe's in Korea, and it's amazing that this village instrument is everywhere. Now you have to be able to see the same way as you see drum sets, they have to see djembe's. And not to have the guys that's in the back playing the djembe, but to be the leader of the band. And so that's my goal, is to take this instrument and to evolve with it, because I've been blessed to play with a lot of great percussionists and a lot of great bands and a lot of great people. Being one, being the band I'm traveling with now called the Hip Power, I'm working with a wonderful young lady here, Nikki Glassman, great drummer. And every time I see it, she reminds me of my mother. Like I said, my mother's a great drummer. So it's always good to see a woman playing drums that knows the instrument and respects the drum, let alone that's trying to learn African percussion and learn djembe rhythms to implement on drum set, which I, that touches me so much, and I love that so much. Because like I said, Jimmy is the heart of my life, and without it, I don't breathe, I don't live. What we're doing, we're not just playing drums just to play drums. We grew up playing, we was initiated in certain things. We have certain things that we have to do, that we have been, you know, that we have been, what's the word? It's not destiny, it's something that we're ordained to do. It is a form of destiny, but it's something that we have been ordained to do. 